Hi, all. Uh, welcome to week 13 of English 1A. This is your Professor Ian Jones. Uh, so it's the middle of April already. It's, uh, it's April, what is it? The 13th. Wow. Is it really the 13th? Yeah, I guess it's the 13th. Um, and remember, the semester ends for us because this is a hybrid course officially. It ends on uh, Wednesday, May 13th. We don't have an exam during the exam period. So for us, the course wraps up on May 13th. That means we have exactly a month to go. Um, although, you know, if you're stuck at home like me with the social distancing, uh, it, it's going to be a pretty long month. But, you know, uh, that's okay. Still four weeks of, of school left for us in this course. Uh, kind of scary at the same time as encouraging, right? Um, anyways, this week is mostly about peer editing for essay number three. Uh, for this essay, we're going to use a um, dis uh, Canvas discussion forum like we did for essay number two. We're going to use that discussion forum to do our online editing. So same idea, post, and then get comments. Uh, the instructions are almost identical as the last time we did it with essay number two. So you need to do the following. Uh, you need to upload your rough draft by Thursday, April 16th at 11.59 p.m. Then you need to comment on two peers' essays by Saturday, April 18th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, and then you use this feedback to write your letter to the reader and revise your final draft and turn in your final draft and letter to the reader via Canvas on Sunday, April 19th, so the end of this week. Uh, remember, don't uh, upload files in the pages format, right? So if you're using a, a MacBook or some kind of Mac device, uh, you need to save this as a PDF. I can open a PDF's fine, but I'm on a PC, so I can't really open pages formatted files properly. Uh, and you might notice I, I, I pushed the deadline for the rough, for the peer editing back as much as I could, as much as I felt was like reasonable. I think last time I had it due on Wednesday. So I tried, I'm trying to give you a little more time to get the rough draft ready because we're a little compressed, right? Uh, due to the extended spring break and everything. So you have a little bit of extra time, but not much. Um, and then, you know, if you're looking at these deadlines, uh, Thursday and Saturday, and you're thinking, oh man, I don't want to work on this paper, uh, all weekend. You know, I have other things to do. Um. Well, first of all, you should be social distancing, but I don't know, maybe you have things to do, work and people, some people are working outside of the home. So you don't wanna work on it all weekend, you have other things to do. Well, you can upload your, your rough draft of this paper earlier in the week. Remember, uh, you know, the Thursday and Saturday deadlines, those are just the latest to turn those things in. You can uh, post your rough draft to the discussion forum today on Monday, if you wish. Uh, if you have it ready and you wanna get working on it, you want more time, yeah, fine, you know, post it as soon as you have it. You don't need to wait until Thursday at 11.50 to post your rough draft. Uh, same with giving feedback. If if you and three other people post tonight, you guys can trade feedback and then you're done with the, the rough draft, uh, with the, the peer editing portion of the work this week. So uh, please do post whenever you're ready. It's probably the wisest anyways, but you know, uh, it's up to you. Uh, in addition to this, the peer editing that we're doing this week, uh, we're wrapping up our discussion of T. Boy's uh, graphic novel, The Best We Could Do. Uh, we're going to use perusal again to go through each of the th last three chapters of the book. Uh, I'm loving the discussions people are having on perusal. I, I go on there every day and read through some of the discussions. You know, I think perusal is great for analyzing graphic text, especially. I think it's even better than, um, I, I love it for regular text, but it's great for graphic text. You can really highlight specific elements you can you can highlight like the the gutter or a speech bubble or whatever you want and really get into you know those specific elements you know i know it's a bit much going through all the comments sometimes by the end of the week when it starts to pile up you know we have combined class two combined classes working on this so it can be it can be a little hectic but you know you don't don't feel like you have to read everything you can skip through if if that page didn't really interest you you know you don't have to read the comments if you've already decided what your topic's going to be that kind of stuff you know don't feel like you have to read through everything, right? If you have the time and the interest, by all means, engage with it. But, you know, don't feel overwhelmed by the sheer number of comments. Uh, um, I would suggest going through these last three chapters of the book right away. Um, you might find a great chat, a great panel you want to write about for your third paper in chapter, you know, nine or something. And some people might be having a great discussion about it. So please do, um, you know, go through these chapters as you work on your rough draft. I know. There's been a lot of people wait till, you know, Sunday to do this kind of work, but this week you might want to do it earlier to help you work on the paper. Okay, so next week we're shifting gears and we're getting into our last paper, uh, the research paper. So please do read through the instructions for essay number four. They're already posted 
um, in that one module between spring break and week 11, I think it is. It's uh, up there. I have all the instructions for the essay number three, or essay number three stuff, essay number four stuff. So please do read through the instructions as we get into next week. Um, I'll, put, I'll put together some more videos this week as we move towards that, uh, just discussing my expectations and uh, you know the, the, what we're working on for this, these final projects in the course. There's a bunch of different things we'll be working on um, in, in connection with this final paper. So I'll put together some videos, but please do read through the instructions. Oh, and finally, I have about a dozen papers to finish marking but of your second essays. I know I'm behind on those. Uh, you know, it's been crazy, of course. So if you have yet to receive your paper, you know, hold tight. Um, you will have it by this Thursday afternoon at the latest, probably Wednesday. I'm aiming to have them all done by Wednesday, but you know how things go. Sometimes they get pushed back a little bit, but uh, Thursday at the latest. Okay, so let me just review what we're doing this week. So First of all, we're engaging with chapters 8, 9, and 10 of The Best We Could Do. We're using Perusal again to do that. Uh, we're submitting our rough draft of essay number 3 by Thursday, April 16th at 11.59 p.m. And then we're commenting on two peers' rough drafts by Saturday, uh, April, April 18th. Sorry, April 18th. Uh, and then finally, number 4, we're, we're revising our final draft and writing our third letter to the reader. Remember, there's another letter to the reader due. And we're submitting these uh, by 11.59 on Sunday, April 19th. Okay, so that's, you know, three chapters in the book, and then um, rough draft, peer editing, final draft, and letter to the reader of essay number three. So a bit, a bit of a busy week, but uh, that's okay. Hopefully, uh, all, the, the, all the proposals uh, helped you think about what you're working on for that paper. So as always, do feel free to email with me with any questions or concerns. And uh, oh yeah, and remember that I have office hours uh, every weekday, Monday to Friday, and Brianna is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can check the modules for her specific hours and my specific hours too. I'm available other times too. If you want to make an appointment, just email me. Uh, remember, you still need to complete those PAL drop-ins. They're worth 1% each. You need to finish four. You can make up ones you missed before the break. Please finish those, uh, and you can complete those with either Brianna or me. Uh, either one is fine, okay? So that's it for now. Thank you, and uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.